That was very macro level. I'm going to ask you, can you bring it a little bit more micro level? Because you like giving oh, an example, so give me an example. I can give multiple examples, yeah, but I gave example. you a high level. I wanted to give you a high give, level. Give me, give oh, me wait, wait, wait. But, but, oh, okay. before, before we move on to that, is okay. that true? That is true. I, I can see where that could be true. Okay. So with that being said, it goes back to the original conversation when I was saying that y'all pick a dude that's not even for y'all, right? And so what women will do or inherently what they would prefer to do because women are selfish. Women are incredibly selfish. They will prefer to be with a man. They would want a man to reduce his lifestyle every day, right? I've been married for 19 years since I was 22 years old. 19 years, right? I'm 41 years old. I've been married for 19 years on June 19th. The thing that my wife says to me all the time is I want you to work less and spend, spend more, more time, time with, with her. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 you know it's true. Do wait you know a minute. Anton ain't putting no context to this. Hello? <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, I this is my example, but go ahead. The, okay, but Anton, you can spare a, a day with your yeah. wife. No, you can't. Vacation out the month. You don't See? always have to be streaming, editing videos, make on lines you don't have to do that right you choose to do that you so are operating his purpose you don't need the money his purpose is his wife also it, exactly no, this is not, not, not now now carrie considering you what you're hearing right now is my example real it's very real thank you it's, i don't even need to say nothing else y'all just days, but the month is not gonna hurt you well, to go no q but see what q knows is q knows that i have a very high level corporate job Right, that you work from home, that you it barely do matter. anything, but I still you am responsible. And you get but paid, I'm still, but I'm Let's still go. responsible for a team of people, and I yes. have to be available to them. I don't yes. get the same PTOs and stuff like a regular worker do. Yes, I have a mm -hmm. whole team of people that that spans the globe. There's people in India. Yes. There's literally people all over the globe that I'm responsible for. She knows that I do that. She okay. knows what I got going on from a real estate perspective. She knows okay. what I got going on from a content creation perspective. Mm -hmm. Right? She knows what I got going on from my business, that the, the web development business. Mm -hmm. Q knows I got seven streams of income, which is literally managing over 20 people that, mm -hmm. that don't even include my regular job. But then mm -hmm. Q will then justify my own wife's well, idea. Wait, wait, but guess what, y'all? All of that could be should done. Be a priority also. All of that. Guess what, y'all? All that could be done what? by the computer he's sitting in front of that can be taken anywhere in the world, and he can be doing all that by his laptop. That he meanwhile, got. But, but meanwhile, before the clarity, before the clarity, here's the interesting part about it. Here's the interesting part about it. Oh, go ahead. Everywhere I go, my wife is literally right next to me. True. There has not been a trip that I've taken over the past maybe three or four years that she literally my wife works for me. Okay. Right. But even with her being with me, I still need to reduce the amount of time that I spend with uh, on work in order to make more time to spend with her. Because you're working, you're not this spending is my, this time. Is my with point. Her, and working. this is my point. I know what I need to do, but women will prefer for you to reduce what it is that you're doing in order to prioritize them more. Yeah. And that just shows you that women are more selfish and that they look at themselves as the priority versus the overall thing in which y'all building because ultimately she's the beneficiary of all of my hard work. She don't want to drive the cars. She don't want to take the flights. She don't want that, that, that do all of the shopping. She don't want that, you know what I'm saying? Do's all, get all of the private schooling for my daughter and all of that. She's the beneficiary from it, but she'd rather reduce that lifestyle in order for me to spend more time with her. I, no, I don't think that that's the case. And I can't speak for Rita, but I can speak for me. I'll speak from my perspective. Um, I don't think that it's the case of wanting you to reduce your your time out in the world per se. I mean, in 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 a fantasy world, yes. But I think that hopefully you you are with somebody who's mature enough to understand, like, I know why he's out doing what he's doing. At the same time, those moments when you are spending time together, are you on your phone? Are oh, you yeah. checking stuff? Yeah, yeah. Are you yeah, yeah. He's are you he's him vlogging. Like, yeah. Y'all, it never yeah. the grind never stops so, for a man so, and his purpose. So it's not it's That's not true. about reducing the time per se. It's 
if you allocated this time to take me out to dinner or to lunch mm -hmm. or for us to go walk down the street or whatever yeah. the case may be, then that needs to be allocated to me, especially since you and I both know you don't have the, that many, uh, you don't have Free those time. Many time periods to spend with me. So that just, I, mean, that just means that you're not busy enough. No, yeah. no, this no, 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 this why two people don't have girlfriends, bro. No. You're not busy enough. No, this why two people don't have girlfriends. No. Listen, no. everybody in my life knows, including Q, I'm not stopping for nobody. <laughs> It's a waste to ask. Like, I'll be I'm there. Not not even, for even, don't I even ask never, me go shopping with I'm never I'm taking it. Listen, I'll take it into consideration. I'll make adjustments. I'll make sure that you can, you, you're on a flight with me. We're going to have conversations, all of that other type of stuff. But it's not even a negotiation. It's, it's some stuff that I'm willing to, you know, make adjustments for. But the ground don't stop. This is my window of opportunity, right? This is the thing that we worked our whole lives for. This is the thing that we finally turned the corner and we got the steering wheel and everything is on 10 and all of that. You think I'm about to... You think for one second that I'm about to let the opportunity slip to really capitalize off of what it is that we grinded our whole life for, our 40 years on this earth for, to make you to make you feel good about yourself? Okay. No. Well, well, hold on. Well, I think that is Carrie, Carrie, wait your breath. I've been going at this <laughs> for this for for a morning. I don't think I I was on a phone with him. Okay, okay. Well, 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 okay. Was going so then, instead of going down that road, I just just let let's just get back really really quickly because it sounded like then in your mind the the idea of being in an environment for thriving is time freedom is the ability to just do what I want to do when I want to do it without my wife. No, I can already do that. I passed that. Right now, I'm in a space where I'm trying to build, like take over the world. No, I and mean, I'm just other men. Like when you said, we you got the rest of our life to chill right now. And I tell my wife this all the time it's a time for play and it's a time for the grind. And right now, I'm, I got my foot on their neck and I'm not stopping for nobody. When, when the industry say I'm not fucking with you no more, then we can chill. But for right now, I'm not slowing down for nobody, including her, <laughs> including for nobody. I don't give a fuck about who say what. I'm never stopping, ever. Hello. So, okay. so can I just add, I just add into that? A lot of play for him, baby. Okay. I, 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 go ahead, little brother. And, and I totally understand what you're saying, Anton. I totally understand what you're saying. I, I think, and I'm, I'm going to say this, like, I think if every man follows your descriptive, I'm not going to say prescriptive, descriptive route, we going to be in trouble, right? And this, <laughs> and I'm going to come from a biblical, I'm going to come from a biblical standpoint here, right? When we talk about marriage, Paul gives a, a, a definition when he talks about marriage in 1 Corinthians 7. He says, listen, I wish some of you be single. Do you know why? Because some of you are so dedicated, are so focused on what you want to do. You having a wife will not like to focus on God the way you need to focus on. So some of you need to be single, right? Your, if you marry somebody, your ministry is not your business. It is your, the married person you've come into contact with. That becomes your first Ooh. ministry. You have to nurture that and make sure that thrives and gets over the finishing line. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying to you that if we make your description prescriptive for all men, we're going to suffer. Because what we're saying is that there needs to be allocated quality time. Not, not all your time. <laughs> quality time. There's no way I can be sitting and chilling with you and you're still on your phone doing whatever you're doing. You're not actually being, you're not actually being quality. You're being qualitative. Mm -hmm. So I actually need your time and I need you to be invested in that moment for you in that, in that period of time. And that's what people are going to remember. Now, nope. I'll add this caveat. Maybe your wife nope. can survive those moments. Nope. Let me, let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on. Let him finish. Hold on. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. And I'm, say, I'm saying, maybe your wife can survive that time. We saw Michelle Obama do it for 10 years. Maybe she can survive that time. Do you know who will really suffer and who will tell you the truth? It's your kids. They will tell you after if you were to spend quality time with them. It don't matter how much money you made, it'll be the quality time that you spent with them. They were to tell you straight, listen, they may not hate you. They may not, dis they may not be like, my dad's the worst dad ever. But what they will tell you is quality time was one of the most important things. So all I'm saying is you may be blessed and maybe it works for you. It's working out. I'm going to say it's descriptive. It's not P, it's not prescriptive, meaning it shouldn't be prescribed for every man. It because should. a lot of times what happens, 
A lot of time what happens is this ends up breaking the relationship down because quality time is not something that can be bought. You cannot be on your phone and not spending time with me and you're sitting in the same person. We're not actually spending quality time. So I think for other men, this ain't the right thing to be doing. It's you, exactly it's the right thing to do. And the problem with the, and, and again, this is why I use my whole family as a, as a, as the prototype, because I've never known, I've not, I've never seen divorce. All three of my brothers got married at the same time as me and they all got the same work ethic and they all married and they all successfully married because it's a difference between being married and being successfully married. My father, same way. All nine of my uncles have never seen divorce. My great grandfather, never seen divorce. All of us and all of our wives and everybody that's ever operated in our family are ideal. We move and we've been taught to move this way and our women don't work. And all we, all we do is continue to win. We kill it, we destroy everything, and we win at the highest level. And so I think that it is the blueprint. The problem is that we keep trying to take men out of their purpose and make them more like women. Thank you. If, if, if you look at historically how men have operated in successful households, men weren't even in the household. They were all fighting wars. Their jobs required them to be gone for years at a time, right? When you talk about the quality of life, when you talk about purpose, when you're talking about provision and protection, when you're talking about eating what you kill and what it is that women need in order to be successful, we are in the best times ever in that you see me come home every single night. You don't even, everywhere I travel, you get to travel with me. You're right next to me. If I'm in 2A, you in 2B. And so when we're talking about a quality, quality of life, if you ask my daughter right now, you know, we was just over in the Dominican Republic. And when I was in the Dominican Republic for a week, it was because we was at her tournament, right? I get to send her all over the world. I get to do things that people, people could only dream of doing. And so if you asking me in order to slow down, because my legacy is not going to be defined by what it is that anybody says about me, as far as my, my family or anything like that. Your legacy is the imprint that you leave on this earth, whether or not it's better as a result of you being here or whether or not you were, you were just a person that took up resources. So again, we can agree to disagree, but it ain't a woman or another man or anybody on this earth that's ever going to stop me from continuing to go in the direction that I'm going in.